Hello everyone. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different and I'm not gonna edit that much so sadly there's no captions below for this video at least. But I just ran out of time. I wanted to record this yesterday but didn't have time yesterday so I'm gonna uh, just wing it today. Anyway, <laughs> let's start it off. The to today's topic is gonna be as you have probably read from the YouTube title that's down below I think. We are gonna rate mangakas, so uh, manga and anime artists and creators basically. Not about how they write their stories or how they develop their characters or how their art style looks. No, we're gonna solely rate them on one point and one point only if they're bangable or not. With that said, let's start it up. I prepared it a little bit. I prepared the tier list. There's like six tiers. We have one. T the top tier is would introduce to my parents. The second tier is smash. The third one is free dates max and then we're out. The fourth one is kiss and run. It's like one date basically. Uh, then the second to last is creeps me out. And the last one is restraining order. And I already know who's going to be put in restraining order. Any play. Let's start it off. With the first one, I prepared it like this, so it's really dirty. Sorry about that. Akasaka, the manga artist of Kaguya-sama, Love is War. I think he's kind of cute. I think definitely not a bad looking guy. Big brain. He hides behind a mask, so I can't give him the top one because I need to see a face at least to a rate if I would introduce him to my parents. But I would say he's smashable for sure. Next one. <laughs> Next one is Chichi, if I, if I get you Chichi, the creator of Jujutsu Kaisen. He looks like this, which is fine, but it's not for me. Uh, I would say I would give him a chance if he's not or like if he's not surprising me after three days, I'm out. Next up, uh, Arakawa-chan, the manga artist of Full Metal Alchemist. I think that's definitely someone I would introduce to my parents. Uh, not a lot to say. Also, look at how she dis uh, like she shows herself as a little cow. Super cute. I think I think I could introduce her to my parents, and uh, I think it would be quite fine. Yeah, yeah, I think we're fine with her. Akaki, the creator of Social's Bizarre Adventure. He's a good-looking lad. He's got some style. He's got some expressive face features. He knows how to pose. That's a guy that you can introduce to your parents. 100% without any regrets. And you will not be, you will not get a broken heart. Our next uh, victim is Asano, manga artist of Goodnight Pum Pum, who probably every one of you knows. So you see it here. Uh, I think he's a little bit creepy. I'm not gonna lie. I think he has potential, but the way he gives himself is very like antisocial. Uh, that's what I get from him. Uh, without obviously without any hate or anything, but it's just not for me. I like more like the social kind of guys. So I'd say he creeps me out a little bit, but it's not enough to put in, in a, a restraining order, but definitely a little bit of creeped out. Up next is Fujimoto. Fujimoto, the artist of Chainsaw Man. I'm pretty sure there's no face of this guy. There is. Yeah, this is how he looks. And uh, this is how he gives himself. Um, like, he presents himself. I think it's cute. I think he's a cute kind of guy. A little bit creepy, so I would probably just give him a kiss and run. But in the end, you know, I don't know the personalities. This is solely based on looks. So for me, it's a kiss and run. But no hard feelings against my man, uh, Fujimoto. Up next is uh, Frutate, the mangaka of Haikyuu. I like how he draws himself. Very cool, very uh, funny. I have to say, I'm not 100% sure who of these two lads he is. But I would say both, like this is a very sympathetic face. This is a very attractive face. So I would say they get at least three dates max. I don't know, it's like a lucky bag at the moment. I don't know who's who's who. But uh, we just try it out and we see where, they, where, where it takes us, right? Otoge, probably. The mangaka of Demon Slayer. It looks like we don't know what he looks like. So we will just put him in... Creeps me out. Because why not? I mean, you don't show your face, you're creepy as fuck. That's just how it is. Tetsuhara is our next one. 
the mangaka of uh, Fist of the North Star. A really good one as well. And look at this guy, man. This is someone that you introduce to your parents. Like, there's no question asked. There's no more uh, arguments needed. This is just classic. Like, look, look at this nice face. Nice, like, dad vibes. Yeah, definitely someone to introduce to your parents. Next up is Horikoshi. The mangaka of My Hero Academia. Uh, I kind of fuck with it. I like the style. I like the the how he like how he gives himself like how how he sides himself uh, i like the long hair I, I have it myself so i think we would match pretty well and uh yeah i think i would i don't know if i would introduce him to my parents i think i would just bang him up next is inoue the mangaka of vagabond and uh, this basketball series that i've never ever looked at do I have to say more? I don't think I have. I think I can pretty much say that this guy is fuckable. Up next is Hajime Isayama. Obviously, Attack on Titan. We all love and hate him. Yeah, uh, I think personally, he looks a little scruffled, but I think that's normal for a mangaka uh, in general. And also, especially if you have these stories in, his, in your head that he, this guy has and draw the insane things that this guy has so he actually creeps me the fuck out the more i talk about it and i probably would give him a restraining order right away this man is not normal and i can see it in his eyes don't we don't fuck with isayama up next is ishida ishida is the mangaka of tokyo ghoul uh doesn't look like we know what he looks like so if he hides behind something we call him creepy kishimoto the mangaka of naruto I think he's got a, a handsome lad. Nothing too crazy here. But uh, I think he looks very sympathetic. I would not introduce him to my parents. I don't feel the smash vibes from him. I would probably just kiss and run. Up next is Kubo. The mangaka of Bleach. Very cool guy. Look at him. Very cool. Sunglasses on the picture chain around his neck long hair smash easy up next kurumada kurumada I'm, I'm pretty sure i don't know kurumada i'm not 100 percent sure if i know what this guy threw uh and made um but just from the face that he gives me in google images i would say uh he's a smashable character but not someone that you would introduce to your parents i think you can have a nice really nice night with him but i think that's probably it up next is miura 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 is known for berserk was known for berserk obviously he uh, died but um if you just look at this man it's clear that you want to introduce him to your parents even though we all know berserk is weird i have not read it yet read it yet i'm gonna do a youtube video about reading uh berserk um but i have not read it yet but we know that it's fucked up and uh but he's still um look at him i mean uh, that's something that's someone that I, that my mom would like or uh, like a hundred percent sure up next is reichi miyajima the creator of rental girlfriend and he gets her training order because that no oda oda can get it oda can get it that's just that's just everything i'm about to say i'm about to say about him oba oba is known for death note um he's a good looking guy nice smile very friendly gets introduced to the parents i noticed this is a pretty high amount of sub uh, s tier winners so far but uh it's just how i how i roll okay i'm just like i just just like to give it to everyone one from one punch man and um mob psycho 100 eh hey, one ah man really i don't really think he's that attractive i would probably try it for once like give him a chance and then see uh, what we can do for it well, out of it but i'm probably gonna kiss and run uh here he I like his humor though, so maybe three dates, like give him a chance. Could work out, but I'm not 100% sure here. 
Next up is Suzuki, known for seven deadly sins. Uh, draws himself as a pig, I, I suppose. Uh, looks like this. And it's okay, I would say. I mean, depends on the angle. Definitely here a little bit more handsome than on this picture. But this picture is just not like his so chocolate side. Um, but I would say he can definitely get it. I would not introduce him to my parents. But I, I would schlop. Next up is Naoko Takeuchi. Uh, mangaka of uh, Sailor Moon. Introduced to parents. They are just happy that I talk to women. Tezuka, just the godfather of manga in general. I should make an extra tier for him. Daddy. Give it the color white. A proper purple. And we're gonna put him in here. And he's the only one that will get this tier. The next one is Togashi, the mangaka of Hunter x Hunter. Uh, Hunter x Hunter is a great um, mangaka, but he basically creeps me the fuck out and will get a restraining order. I don't know, look at his face. And also he's just like the way that he just edges the community that loves Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, I don't know. He gets a restraining order. Next one is Toriyama, obviously the mangaka of Dragon Ball. Look at him. He, he was such an such a nice looking dude. Just I think he's very sympathetic. I think uh, when we saw the messages that all the mangakas had for him, we clearly saw that everyone really liked him. Uh, so I would give him uh, the would introduce to parents tier. And I think I would not regret this. I think this is probably like one of the safest of all of them. I think Inoue is smash. I would not. I I would just bang him. Yeah, just just had to fix that real quick. Last one, but not least, is Naoki Urasawa, the creator of. I think he was. He's known for Monster. Yeah, creator of Monster. I've no, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know any of his work. Um, so I'm gonna be real with you. He looks quite, quite cute. Um, I would probably give him a chance, but I will. Probably keep it at three days max. Three dates max. This is it, basically. This is my tier list. Let me know below what your tier list would be like. I would really like to know. I can link this one uh, to in the in the description below, and you just make it yourself and let me know who's your daddy, who's your restraining order, and so on. Sorry for the dirty dirty YouTube video and the quick one. Sometimes it's just how it is, and we'll see each other in four days. Bye bye. Coming for the throat. Take my, take my knuckles, so you're stepping bones! <laughs>